Welcome to another weekly maritime video blog. I'm Corey Ranslam with International Maritime Security Associates. This week, we're talking cybersecurity. Welcome to our first video blog of 2018. We hope everybody had a great holiday season. Happy New Year. We hope that 2018 is going to be a great year for you. On today's video blog, we wanted to discuss a little bit about cybersecurity in a little bit more in depth than how we've discussed it in the past and some of the things that will be taking place now forward as we look at some of the regulatory compliance issues. 2017 was a rough year in the maritime industry for cyber attacks. We saw cyber attacks on one of the largest shipping companies in the world. Some security experts estimate that the cost of this attack could be upwards of close to a billion dollars. I've heard numbers all the way from three to 400 million all the way up to a billion dollars. So this is an issue that domestically in the United States, the US Coast Guard, internationally through the International Maritime Organization and also BIMCO. These are three of the major organizations that are looking at how to address cybersecurity threats when it comes to the maritime industry. And there are a number of things that are floating around right now. And I think over the course of the next few months and potentially through 2018, we're gonna see more solid guidance on compliance for facilities and vessels when it comes to cybersecurity as part of the overall maritime security regulatory compliance. But before we get into that, we just wanted to do a quick promotion. I will be speaking next week, that's January 10th and 11th, in Fort Lauderdale at the Broward County Convention Center as part of the Refit International Conference and Exhibition. It's going to be a great conference. There are a number of really cool vendors. There are a number of great panel discussions, speakers, presentations, a lot going around specifically for the large yacht industry when it comes to uh, refit and repair. This is going to be a great time. So. If you are going to be in Fort Lauderdale, we'll have the link for the uh, refit conference and exhibition down below in the comments section. Definitely recommend. Um, I believe it's free to get into the exhibit hall. There is a price for the conference, but it is definitely well worth it. Stop by noon both days. We will be giving a presentation on maritime security risks and threats. So thought we'd just do that quick little promo. Now on to today's topic, talking about maritime security. As we know, like we said in the beginning, 2017 has been a tough year. So the International Maritime Organization has put out resolution guidance on integrating maritime or cybersecurity into your overall maritime security plan. They've set a date of 2021 for compliance, but I think we're gonna see some changes in the coming years to exactly how as an industry, we integrate that kind of cybersecurity uh, guidance into our planning, whether it's through ISPS plans or it could be part of ISM or really as a scope of, of both of those together and how that's going to come together. We're going to continue as a company to watch this and provide updates and hopefully even be able to bring some expert interviews on the vlog to give you an idea of what you're going to need to do as far as a ship owner, ship operator, a facility operator or owner when it comes to adding that cybersecurity piece into your overall maritime security plan. Here in the United States, last year the Coast Guard put out guidance through NAVIC 0507. We'll have a link to that down below. It's a 37-page document that outlines from the Coast Guard's perspective some of the things that will need to be implemented as part of your MTSA security plan compliance. I've spoken with a couple of people in the Coast Guard. Right now the Coast Guard is looking um, kind of in the beginning stages of the enforcement of this and when I say enforcement there's not really any hard fast rules right now that the Coast Guard is following. I don't believe knowing the history of the Coast Guard that they're looking to try to start fining people for not integrating this but this is something as a facility operator or a vessel operator here in the United States as part of your MTSA plan, you definitely need to start thinking about how to integrate the cybersecurity component and compliance of that. This NAVIC is just, I think, one of the beginning of, of documents and potentially even into the CFRs of regulations that will come out 
of exactly how the Coast Guard wants to see the implementation of it. Right now, most of the sectors, if you reach out to them, these guys do a great job. Um, we'll be willing to work with you to see exactly for your type of facility what you need to do for compliance. If there's questions that you have or we can help you from the compliance standpoint, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Also, BIMCO, an international industry organization, has put out some guidance on cybersecurity and how to mitigate those attacks. We believe just from our intelligence and, and operations that the attacks in the cyber arena, and most experts I believe feel the same, are gonna continue to increase, whether it's on ships or on shoreside facilities. The maritime infrastructure is going to see a number of attacks and the attack level starting to increase in the coming years um, if we don't put the right protections in place. So what we wanted to do is to be a reference point for you guys, we'll put links to the BIMCO document, um, to the NAVIC from the uh, Coast Guard in the comment section below so you have a reference point when it comes to cybersecurity attacks. And this is a topic that we will continue to look at and to address throughout the 2018 year. Thanks for joining us. We really appreciate all of our viewers. We hope everybody has a happy, safe, and successful 2018. Make sure you subscribe to this channel so you get notified when we post new video blogs, which happens every single week. We've also got other great content that we update through some of our other channel headings. So make sure you subscribe so you get notified when there's updates posted. Also, make sure you hit that like button for all the videos you like. Share them with your friends and colleagues. We have a lot of great information that we've put out in the channel in 2017 and we'll continue to do that in 2018. Another good way to stay up to date with things happening with IMSA but also the maritime industry in general is to connect to us through our social media detailed in the banner above and also in the comment section below. If there's anything that we can do for you when it comes to maritime regulatory compliance, risk management, or maritime security, don't ever hesitate to reach out to us because we're always happy to steer you in the right direction.